welcome to Shift Watch. I'm your host, Starbuck. And um, energy shifts. And let's talk about energy shifts. Over the last two weeks, I've heard from some people who had not heard of me before then that the same, I heard the word telos, I heard the word inner earth, I heard the word Lemurian, and um, had to reach out to you. Four different occasions this past week, I had interactions with people who had stumbled across my path in a variety of ways that, to me, <laughs> um, were amusing and interesting. And the synchronicities are just crazy when you see you know, how we all came together. One in particular uh, is most of you that are associated with the tribe know who Paula Davis is. And you can tell Paula's been in this world for a while, but something shifted in her field this week, this week, that sent her to a new level of channeling her medium skills. And so that's what I'm going to focus my attention on today, is to share a little bit more about what is going on with her, because when I said that we would cover real experiencers with current information, it can't get much more current than this. So I hope you enjoy this little snippet from Paula and uh, you'll hear from her at the end of the program today. During a meditation that I had, um, I started channeling some beings, uh, fairy beings from inner earth. And I stopped the meditation and uh, took out my recorder on my phone to um, capture the information. So this is it. As we were saying, we come to you from Shambhala through the Arctic Circle where this medium is being shared a vision of immense beauty and crystal. It looks as though it's ice crystals, but trust me, it is not icy or cold at all, but rather an environment of love and nurturing and very pleasant smells, very pleasant visuals and very pleasant feelings. For those of you whose vibration is already in tune with solar energy that's coming at us, I don't need to tell you about the three instances today that took place while I was working on this feature. Um, while that happened, there was a pop-up on YouTube that came our way that actually made sense because it almost seems like a continuation of the discussion we were having about energetic changes in the Schumann res resonance. Um, last episode, and uh, I have something to share with you that Ben from Suspicious Observers shared today that helps us understand the lightning phenomenon a little bit better, as well as he certainly makes mention of the Schumann resonance in this uh, piece. So here you go. Good afternoon, folks. We got a great question today on Twitter, and we'll address it and much more here. The question was about how this worked, the upward lightning bolt from the Statue of Liberty a few days ago. It's an earth discharge. There is intercloud lightning, cloud to ground lightning, and ground to cloud lightning. This is the latter, as evidenced by its forking upward. Lightning doesn't come together from multiple points, it only branches out. This is, in fact, a fairly common occurrence, and it is a critical part of the global electric circuit. We usually discuss the circuit in terms of weather effects, so if the ground aspect isn't in your head, that's understandable, but the floor of the circuit is indeed the Earth's crust. The downward currents occur on sunny days in fair weather, high pressure, and while some of the upward current in low pressure comes from thunderclouds, its genesis is often in the ground, sometimes fantastically as we saw at the Statue of Liberty. The Earth is in fact a capacitor. It can charge and discharge, and it does so all the time. For those with our textbook, page 162 of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun has the relevant studies confirming several previous ones. Low pressure systems and the static attraction of clouds can stir up the energy in the ground, 
into the air for the upward currents, and sometimes it's quite a big discharge. Sometimes it even happens right away, as those of you who remember my Albuquerque lightning footage will recall. The branch downward strike followed immediately by several discharges back upward. If you haven't seen it in slow motion, it's quite the thing. Now, the mechanics of this also tell us something to expect during the geomagnetic excursion, the magnetic pole shift. With Earth's magnetic shield fading, we are taking in more energy from the sun and from galactic cosmic rays. It's very much like adding electric current to a capacitor in a laboratory. It'll get more juiced up and can produce larger discharges. This is why the lightning records are falling and the resulting Schumann resonance is spiking. Earth capacitor is amplified, more extreme, and getting more and more extreme as the magnetic field weakens. This is why we say that lightning will get much worse during this shift, and that its inclusion into the global electric circuit will also have amplified effects on the weather, and on longer time scales, the climate. So, upward lightning explained, and how it relates to our ongoing Earth disaster cycle and the magnetic pole shift. Hope this was informative. I will see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone. All right, so if you've been following along with you know my exploits and the podcasts, uh, Paula Davis is no stranger to any of you. She's chimed in many times um, on the topics that we've had, and she's shared lots of her journey with us. There's something extraordinary that has shifted with Paula, and I thought I'd give her this opportunity to start to share it with her with us because she's at that stage where this is new for her too. And knowing her the way I know her, um, she's um, an intelligent political science professional who um, it, it doesn't just, she's so grounded. She's so much like me. It's one of the reasons why we're, we were drawn to one another. And that's why when these extraordinary things begin to happen and we're at that stage with Paula, I like to pay attention to them and help others interpret what's going on. So I'm going to just set myself aside so that you can fill us in a little bit. And um, uh, we'll do what you can in a couple of minutes. And if people want to hear more, we're going to tell them where they can see that. Okay, wonderful. Well, to your point, um, this all started, you know, uh, coming on a, a couple of years. I was doing evidential medium uh, ship, and that's very structured. Um, evidential mediumship is a very structured experience, and the people I work with are very structured, very Capricorn oriented, you know. And this moved into receiving information about this Talos of which I'd never heard of. And I ended up writing a book and it's very evidence-based because I'm evidence-based person. 
And then about, you know, release that, went back into the work world and, you know, did mediumship on the side, but very grounded life. And then I can tell you that around mid-March, all of a sudden something brand new happened to me, surprised me. I was ready to go to sleep. All of a sudden a voice spoke through me. And mind you, I've never done channeling before in my whole life. Um, writing channeling, yes, but never speaking through my voice where it just something pops out. And it said, your greater work is to begin now. You've been stubborn about channeling, which is true because I'm not. it's not necessarily evidence-based, so I'm not comfortable with it. And then since then, I have been uh, true to practicing trans mediumship. I've been listening to meditations. And as this has been happening, I've been having spontaneous um, beings, including fairies, speak through me. Now, I'll tell you my most uh, interesting experience. All of them are quite interesting. But the one that has a recording that I've listed up on, on YouTube is I was casually watching TV, uh, very relaxed mode, and all of a sudden my, my uh, heart area started to warm and it became um, very fluttered feeling, and then it zoomed up my throat, and out of nowhere, I started laughing. And I say, me, it wasn't me. And the be these beings said, you know what? You're being way too serious. You need to lighten up. And that's when I said, wait a minute, let me record this. <laughs> and that's when I turned on the recording and they gave a message. But in truth, it doesn't sound like my voice, right? Uh, doesn't sound like me. And um, I recorded it. And it is oriented around our journey home. There's yeah, now we're going to stay brief. We'll give them the link to where they can go and listen to that okay. because that's important to me. But I'd rather get to how does it feel while you're going through this while new I'm level of awareness? Well, what's interesting is it feels like a second voice box is growing in my throat. Like there's mine and then there's one that's next door. And looking, looking that up, I have friends that are channels and uh, it is ectoplasm that is developing in your throat to develop a separate um, voice box, believe it or not. And a lot of times it will sound different than your voice. And uh, what, what it feels like is um, an immense amount of energy forming in my face, uh, my cranium area. And then um, my heart area and my throat will swell up. Uh, and this is something that happens every time I go into this trance. It's almost like immense pressure. Like you can't even explain. It's just pressure as if they're attuning you, your, your, your face, your, your nasal passages almost feel like they're splitting apart. <laughs> I can tell we're going to have to spend an episode on just what's going on with you. Because even when we were talking about it before, there's other degrees of what the sensations you're going through that are important for people to hear and see. Um, but we'll have to rally back to do that if I want to. Well, keep you're going to love a video that I took last night. I'll, I'll share it with you when you're ready. But it's, it's what happens as it's trying to set up the other vocal cord and speaking to you to tell you to relax and don't be scared. Do you want Perfect. me to share that with you? We'll leave a link so others can listen to it, okay? Okay, I'll have to, I'll have to post it. It's in kind of video form, but I'll make it more of an audio, just straight audio, because I just had to grab my phone quickly as it was happening. I'm trying to capture this as it happens because it's important for other people if they're scared or if they're uncomfortable with what's happening to them. That is what I really want to end with because what we're trying to assist people with is th that they get comfortable with these changes that are going yeah. to take place so that feels, they don't freak out. Feels very yeah. weird, for sure. Yeah. Thank you, kiddo. We'll catch up soon, okay? Okay, sounds good. 
so I want to thank Paula for sharing. And she's had a really interesting new spot for her in her journey. Uh, it took a lot of courage for people to step up and share when things happen so extraordinary like that. Uh, I want to leave you with a reminder that we have our Saturday podcast at nine o'clock on Pacific time, and you are welcome to join us live. The credentials you'll find on my website, lowelljohnson.info. And uh, I will leave you with this thought. Enjoy this day. Namaste.